But the message that he sent was, hey, you're super pretty. Maybe I can take you out of the sometime. Do you have lip Maddie Capoza and welcome back to another video. Today I decided that I was going to do a Q&A and like a get ready with me video. So as I'm going to be doing my makeup, I'm going to be reading and answering some of the questions that you guys asked me via Instagram and Twitter. First, I'm going to be putting on my foundation. I have like stopped using primer because the primer that I use just makes my face break out. After my shower, I use Renew and Cucumber Gel Mask. I use this probably like every three days, every two days, depending upon my face. Um, you can get this pretty much anywhere. I got this at Ulta. I think it was like $4. You can get it at CVS. You can get it at so many places. This is what it's called. Just Freeman Peel Off Gel Mask Cucumber. It kind of like smooths your skin and... So I'm going to be using Neutrogena Healthy Skin Warm Beige 90. I don't really like using like really expensive makeup. First question I'm going to answer. This was asked by Connor Pellegri, Pellegri and he asked how tall am I? I am 5'3", five, 5'4"-ish. Five, I'm pretty short, but I'm not like super short. I'm pretty short though. Asked by Sharna Brooks, where do you see yourself in 10 years? I don't usually talk about too much of my future, I guess, or like my future plans with anyone really other than my close friends. So obviously I want to pursue music. That's just something that I would dream of doing, but that field is so incredibly hard to get into. There are thousands and thousands of people who move to LA having the goal of becoming a singer or a musician, music producer. When you think of all the people that go there, because it's automatic, it's like, oh, you sing, move to LA. That's just what people kind of do nowadays. And there are so many people in the industry who don't make it or have like one hit wonder, you know, then they're kind of screwed because that's what they did instead of school. Last year, just was fall 2016 I went to Cleveland State University and that is where I met my boyfriend I loved that school it was a really awesome school but it just wasn't the school for me and this is going like way completely in another direction this isn't even like answer this question right now but i will get to it i did not like it there i wanted to start pursuing my music but it was just really difficult to do it there so i decided to come home and do online classes so i'm doing online classes this year i did online classes last semester and then i plan to transfer to loyola marymont next semester fall 2018 um that's my plan i don't know if it's gonna be be what I end up doing, um, but that's what I want to do. So by the time I graduate, I want to, I'm going to be getting a degree in communication. So if my music doesn't work out, then I will either go into broadcasting or go into some type of mass media. Um, I'm not really sure yet. So yeah, next question. <laughs> this is asked by Courtney. Um, I thought this was kind of funny. Does it get annoying when people constantly ask about Nick? Those of you who have first time ever seeing me, those of you who have no idea who I am, I um, am dating a YouTuber and a lot of my supporters come from him. I love him so much. Like Nick, if you're watching this, I love you dearly. You're the love of my life. But I get so annoyed by people who comment things. I I did a live stream and I went through and I screenshotted some of the ones and it's comments like this that irritate me hey can you tell Nick to check his DMs because I sent him something really important oh you're watching me because of him how's Nick doing oh I'm doing fine thank you for asking the boy Nick Johnson the goat um, I do get really annoyed. Um, it's not that I get annoyed with seeing Nick's name because I love him and that's not it at all. I love it when people ask about our relationship. But like when people ask me about him, 
I just assume that you're watching me because you are a fan of Nick. But that's just like, it's annoying. Imagine if you were dating someone and someone came in and would just always ask you about that one person. And you kind of already knew like, oh yeah, this person's following me because of that person. But when it comes down to it, whenever people say things like that, it just makes me feel like the only reason why they support me is because of my boyfriend and it's not really me. I'm thirsty. Anyways, next question. Okay, shout out to Hamza Rahim. Like, you're amazing. I think it's Rahim. I always get it wrong. Jaggy Neil, he is one of my biggest supporters. He watches me on all of my broadcasting sites and he's just awesome. Hamza asks, would you rather sleep when you're tired or eat when you're hungry? I would probably have to go with... It's honestly really, really, really nice to sleep when you're tired. I feel like that's more satisfying than eating when you're hungry. Because I feel like there's a point where you're so hungry, it kind of passes. There's been times like at school, this is whenever I was in high school, and I'm sure we've all had this kind of similar thing. You're in school and you're starving at like nine o'clock. I feel like you get kind of used to the hunger or it like passes, but like when I'm tired, there's never a point where I'm like, whoa, I'm tired. And then like, it just goes away. Unless I like drink an energy drink or something. So I would definitely rather, I'd rather sleep when I'm tired. Okay, so the next step I'm gonna do my makeup. I just did kind of like a, like contour. I don't like to contour my face a lot because I don't like the way it looks personally. I feel it looks way too much. So I just put a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna do Voluminous Lash Paradise by I'm not sure who, who does this. Voluminous, I guess. I don't really know my makeup brands. Hold on, this is very hard to do. Multitasking. Next question was asked by Carly. If you could change your name to anything else, what would you choose? I wouldn't really want to change my name to anything specifically because I like my name. But if I could change my name, it would probably be... I love the name Bridget. I also love the name Melody. That is so pretty, but I feel like it's kind of cliche to have the name Melody when you like to sing and stuff. I feel like that's just kind of... Whatever, but so going on to the next question. Do you have lip injections? Well, thank you, but no, I don't. My lips are 100% real. I mean, sometimes I'll take pictures and like kind of push them out a little bit. I don't like my lips don't look pushed out all the time, like as you can see as I'm talking, but I do not have lip injections. Anyways, by the way, I'm using Mary Kay under eye corrector as my kind of like concealer I guess and next question how did you and Nick meet I've talked about this so many times but I still get this question all the time I don't know if you guys just like haven't been watching or really paying attention to anything if you're new but I talk about this a lot so those of you who already know this I'm sorry but me and Nick met in Cleveland he messaged me on Instagram this was about a year and a half ago whenever I went to Cleveland State and he lived in Cleveland and basically we just randomly met up a day he DM'd me and he was like hey like what are you doing today and I was like um who are you I didn't say that but I actually, I still have the DMs, so I'm gonna put them up right here. I'm not gonna get like too much into our conversation <laughs> because we're both really awkward and it's just embarrassing. But the message that he sent was, hey, you're super pretty. Maybe I can take you out around Cleveland sometime. And I was like, thank you, and yeah. So I gave him my phone number and then the very next day, we barely texted at all and then he took me out around Cleveland. That's just kind of how that went. We didn't like know each other really when we went out. Um, it was like our first time ever having an actual conversation together. And then we just kind of clicked and we've been dating ever since. So next up I'm gonna be doing on my makeup is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm gonna put a coat of this on my eyelashes. This is like almost gone, but I use it mainly just to like comb out my eyelashes. Okay, so this was asked by S-E-H. XR. Have you ever had a paranormal experience? I have. It was when I was very young, so I don't even know. I don't really remember it much anymore. Um, I don't really believe in ghosts and I don't, I don't really, really believe in all that paranormal stuff. 
But when I'm alone in my room and there's a bang, I'm like freaking out and I think that it's a ghost. So I say that I don't believe in that stuff, but at the same time, like I kind of do. But I'm also not gonna sit here and lie to you guys because this actually happened. So I was in fourth grade and this was right when I moved into my new house. My new house, was big compared to my last house so me and my twin sister were playing hide and seek and <laughs> i thought she was hiding in the closet so i went in to like this extra bedroom and that's where we had like our video games and like our music stuff now it's just like our music stuff but i walked in and i saw like i saw her but it like wasn't her it was like i was thinking of someone standing there but like they weren't actually there but I was like imagining it and it almost looked like my sister but like an older version of her with curly hair and she was tall. I walked into the room and I saw her and I was like and as I saw this woman my sister came up behind me and like scared me. That's right we were playing this high I don't know if you guys watched the backyardigans but that was like me and my sister's shit. And they had like hide and go boo. You would hide and then when the person was close, you'd like scare them. What? Ah! So that's what me and my sister were playing and she scared me. It was all so fast that I saw this woman and then my sister scared me. So I looked back at my sister and then I looked back and she like wasn't there anymore. So that was like kind of a paranormal experience. I don't know, either paranormal or I was just a crazy kid and I just imagined crazy things but anyway so the next step where I'm going to be highlighting just a little bit and putting the same on my eyelids just like a light shimmer I guess I don't know I just like the way it looks my eyelashes are very long but they're thin so I use fake trio lashes they're not strips they're just kind of like individuals as you could see my eyelashes are really long, but you can like count them. So what I use is these individual lashes and they don't come up. I don't always wear fake eyelashes cause like my eyelashes are long. All right, so this was asked by Shay Unger. If you could collaborate with one mainstream artist, who would it be and why? There's a lot of people that I would like to collab with. I would love to collab with Ed Sheeran because he's so talented, but I'd also like to collaborate with Lil Uzi or Drake would be cool. Shawn Mendes, oh my God. I would love to collaborate with Shawn Mendes. All of those are like gone. Shawn Mendes all the way. I would love to collab with him. I wish that was like realistic. I always lose the caps to like all of my glue so i just use the duo black are you older or younger than your boyfriend i'm younger than nick he is 21 and will be turning 22 this year i am 19 and will be turning 20 so he's like a good two years older than me okay this was asked by bobby if you could only eat one kind of donut for the rest of your life what kind would it be and where would it be from oh geez that's a hard one. <laughs> I freaking love donuts. Oh my god, I love donuts. Um, I really, really, really like chocolate with sprinkles, but I also really like Krispy Kreme's glazed donut, and Krispy Kreme is absolutely insane. I honestly don't know which one I would pick because I love chocolate with sprinkles. Krispy Kreme is like my favorite. But anyways, I put four of these on my eyelashes. Sometimes I only do three, sometimes I only do two, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be doing four. I'm gonna do this next set of eyelashes without a question, just kind of speed through it because this is gonna be a really long video. Last but not least, I need to do my eyebrows. So using Revlon Color Stay, I just brush them out. I need to do my eyebrows really bad, actually. They are real bad. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. Um, if you have any video recommendations or video requests for me, please comment them below because I'm always running out of video ideas as you can see. If I had more video ideas, I would literally be posting so much, but I just don't know what to post. So leave some video ideas if you have any. Leave a like. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.